Mayan. You're here. I didn't expect you to come so soon. I've made you an apple pie, too. And it's very good. I worked very hard on it. Now go on, have a taste. Tell me what you think. Are you sure about feeding Wyan that? What do you mean, that? Come on, Chow. It's an apple pie, clearly. Huh? Not you too, Wyan. It doesn't look messy or anything. Maybe it's a little bit burned, but... Well, at least give it a taste, please. Just a little bit. There you go. Huh? What? Are you serious, Wyan? I told you she wouldn't like it. I mean, anyone with taste buds wouldn't like it. So I don't know what you were expecting. You're honestly torturing her, Vente. Hmm, are you sure about that? Because here is what I think. We have a very jealous person here. And he's very jealous that you cannot share his food with you, Ayan. Because he dislikes apple pie. And most human foods, too. You're really weird, Chow. You know that? I'm not weird. And even if that's true, it's none of your business. But isn't he weird, Wyan? Come on. Who doesn't even like food? I'm an Archon, and I still eat food. It doesn't matter so much. And I eat with Wyan when I can. Not so much, apparently. I mean, she surely likes eating with me better. At least I seem to be enjoying the food, and not like I'm about to vomit. That's enough. I don't want to talk about this. Oh, do we have a little pouty person here? Do you need a kiss from Lyon? Come on. Go ahead, Lyon. Give him a kiss. Since he seems to need it so badly. Hey, I said one kiss. Not two. No fair. I need one too. Oh, thank you, Ayan. Oh, why are you looking at me like that, Chow? I... It's... It's nothing. There is no reason to think about that. Are you jealous? Do you want Ayan all for yourself? Oh, how selfish of you. I never said that. But you're blushing, and you looked really upset when she kissed me. So you do want her all for yourself. I... That's enough, really, Vinci. If you keep doing that, then... Then I'll just leave. <sighs> Fine, Wyan. I'll stay. But please, just tell him not to talk to me so much. He could be so irritating. Ah, uh, fine. I guess I'll try to be nicer. But you're just so cute when you pout. Come on, Chow. You know I don't mean any of it. I guess I'll accept your apology. If only for Wyan's sake. You know how much I love you, Ion. And how much I do for you. Right? I love you too. And I know I'm not so good at showing it. Maybe not like Venti. And I don't know if you've had past lovers or not. But even then, I think it's quite obvious that I'm not so good at showing my love. But I'm trying my best. I promise you. And I'll keep on trying. Because I love you, Ion. You're so dear to me. Your smile and your eyes. And every time that you're happy, it makes me feel different. It's the best thing I've ever felt. So thank you for being there for me. You're my entire world. Oh, Shao. You're really sweet. You know, you must be really special to him, Lyon. Otherwise, you wouldn't get like that. He's usually so cold and menacing and scary, but with you he's just so sweet. And I think that's because he loves you so much. Just like you said, I'm only confirming. But you always know that I love you too, right? I know, I love you too. But what I'm saying is, Sha really loves you as well. I know he has his own difficulties about this. But you can clearly see that you're special to him. Even I could see that. And I bet everyone can too. Really? It's that obvious? Oh. Well, I never realized. I didn't know you could see it so clearly. 
I guess I'm not used to someone seeing me that way. So it gets a little bit embarrassing to think about. But don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Well, I'm glad to know that. I'm also glad that you're willing to share. Someone as beautiful and lovely as Wyan should only be appreciated and loved by many. And I'm glad that I get to love you. You could get quite weird, Vinci. Love can't be quantified. It doesn't work like that. What matters is having someone who loves you infinitely and being able to feel their love. It's like saying that just because we're too loving Wyan, we'd need more people to love us in return to have more love, right? But it doesn't work like that because Wyan's love is enough for both of us. So it can't be quantified, but it can be felt. Oh, wow, Shell. Those are some sweet words from you. Well, I'm just so happy that I get to be with Wyan anyway. I'm with you. And I get to appreciate you, right? I'm just glad that I get to love you. Because I love you so much. I don't like overthinking love. But I guess Shao's right. But you know what's the most beautiful thing to me? And what truly matters the most? Well, besides Wyan's smile and her laugh, which takes a top spot for me, I'd say that I'm just happy that we're all together, and we're all happy, and we have you. Right, darling? Ah, oh, come on. I know I don't use pet names with you so much, but there's no need to get so shy. But aren't I right, Chow? I... I guess so. That's correct. I'm just glad that we're all together, too. That's what's important. And most importantly, that I am with Wyan. Are you trying to say you don't care about me so much? Maybe. Ah, oh, Shao, you could be quite so cold at times. But I know that you care for me anyway, so it doesn't matter what you say. Anyway, I wanted to... Wait. Before you say anything, I want to show you something, Mayan. Would you wait a moment? Huh, what's he going to get? Well, surely it could be something interesting. Oh, you're already back. So, what's that box? It's not for you, most importantly. But here it is. I've been trying to learn how to make it. It's a necklace for you, Mayan. I've been working hard on it. I know it's not the best. But I'm not really used to doing this. So I hope you like it. Is it good? I'm glad you think so. Wow, Shao. That's really beautiful. Well, you're not into making apple pies. But on the other side, you're making something amazing like this. I guess that means that we should learn that everybody has their flaws and their talents. Right, Chow? I suppose so. I spent a lot of time reading up, and I even asked someone how to make them. Who did I ask? I, well, I asked Ganyu. I knew she wouldn't tell on me, and she's definitely not the type to tease. So... She was the safest option. You're right. If you'd come to me, I'd have teased you, but... I wouldn't have been able to teach you anyway. I don't know how to make these. Oh, Wyan. You don't need to thank me. It looks beautiful on you. I'm just glad that you seem to be liking it so much. And that you're wearing it. I knew that it would look beautiful on you. As everything would. But... I'm still glad. It suits you, Ion. It does. It's quite beautiful. But maybe that's because wine is so beautiful that anything on her would look that way. Right? That's what I thought. She's really pretty. Uh, I didn't mean to fluster you. Really. My apologies, Ion. I think that's a good thing. You don't need to apologize for that. Besides... Doesn't Wyan look so cute when she's flustered? Wait, 
She reminds me of someone. That's you, Xiao. You look really good when you're flustered, too. Hey, you keep doing that. You keep trying to get on my nerves, Fenty. And you're really pushing it now. Am I? Are you sure about that, Xiao? Because I'm quite sure I can push it even more. Isn't that right, Wyan? I said to stop. I said I'll leave if you do this. And yet you're continuing. It's like you want me to leave. Uh, sorry. Fine. I'm really sorry. Come on. I won't tease you anymore. Just don't get so sad. Don't look at me like that, Chow. I already apologized, Wyan. I'm doing my best. And unless he accepts my apology, there is nothing else I can do. You're so dramatic. Fine. But that will be the second and last apology I will ever accept today. Yes, sir. I'm really trying to be less tense, Wyan. But it's different for me. You understand that, right? It's not like I'm trying to be difficult on purpose. It's different for me, and I'm trying to get used to this. I understand, too. I... I know I tease you a lot, Chow. But I really like you. And you're a good partner to my own. And a good friend to me. So, you know it has no ill meaning, right? That doesn't mean you should keep going if it annoys me. I promise you I'll try. Fine. Whatever you say. I don't care so much. I'm only ignoring you for wine's sake. And you know it. You shouldn't be ignoring me. Like I said, we're friends. And you shouldn't do that. That would be so mean of you. Anyway, what I wanted to say earlier... I've been trying to write a song about you. Or for you. Maybe both. I don't really know what to think about it. But it's been rather fun. You're really inspiring, Wyan. Day and night, I think of you. It's like you're just there, plaguing my mind at all times. Wouldn't plaguing your mind mean that she's annoying? I never said that. You're the one saying that she's annoying. I, I never said that either. I'm just saying. Your choice of words is very poor. Well, I guess you're correct about that. I meant that you're always there in my mind. Not playing it. But you know how I love that you're in my mind all the time. Don't you? Oh, I can't show you the song right now. It's kind of... Well... It's unfinished, so I can't show it to you. But I promise you, when I finish it, I'm going to sing it to you. And maybe perform it too. Anyway, enough about what you've been doing. What about you? What have you been up to? Huh. Well, it seems you've been working very hard. I mean, to me, you don't have to do a lot for that to be considered hard work. For me, my hard work is resting. So that when I have to work hard, I can actually do it. So resting is kind of part of my hard work. And it should be part of yours as well. Right? I think so. But I think you're quite lazy too, Vinci. So you don't have to use yourself as an analogy. You're a bad example. I'm not lazy. I work very hard for my nation. But you're not even there. Most of the time, none of them ever see you. And no one sees Mr. Morax nowadays. Does that mean he stopped working hard? No, he just needs to rest. And I'm telling that to my aunt, because she needs to rest. She works herself very hard, and she needs to rest when she can. After all, she deserves that. Wouldn't you agree, Shao? I guess when you apply that to Ion and Rex Lapis, I can't really disagree with you. But I think that maybe you rest too much. Maybe you're right. I'm not going to disagree with that. I'm just saying that nobody can discredit Wayne's work, even if it involves resting sometimes. 
But you know what, Chow? Something really caught my attention. And maybe you're a little bit biased. What do you mean by that? I mean, when I wished, it saw me being lazy. It would mind doing it. It's hard work. Huh, how come you can be like that? You and Chow can be fair sometimes. I... I'm not being biased or unfair. I'm being very fair with Wayan. I know how hard she works and how you do so much all the time. So you deserve rest and deserve everything good that happens to you. Hmm, when you say it like that, I guess I can't help but agree with you. I know Wayan works very hard. And you can be stressed at times. That's why me and Char are saying this. We want you to know that we see that you're working hard, Wyan. And that we love you for it. But it also means that we'd love you even more if you rest. We don't want you to be stressed or anything. Right? Correct. That's what I was trying to get at. You're always stealing those words from my mouth, Venti. I can steal many other things, too. What do you mean by that? Figure it out. You can. But I was kind of worried Lyme wouldn't come. Me too. I guess you've been giving us the impression that you've been busy. Too busy to see us. And I was worried you wouldn't have the time. You know, we miss you. Both of us. Mm-hmm. We do. We haven't been seeing us so much, Wyan, and we've gotten worried. Is something wrong? Is there anything we could do about it? Well, about the things that we could do, you asked me for something, Wyan. Now that I remember, you told me you wanted a hoodie of mine. Why is that? Uh, what's with your face? Why are you looking at me like that? I shouldn't have mentioned it. Why so? About that, Wayne asked me too. So, would you explain to us your mysterious requests, Wayan? Um, what? Don't worry, Shao. I already knew this. I just wanted to hear it out of her. Well, I... I didn't. That's kind of... I don't understand it very well, but I am happy to know that you like that. I mean, I would give you my hoodie. I'm going to give you one. Would you like that? All right. You could pick which one. If you're particular about the color, too. Either way, I... I'm just glad that you like it, and I'm happy to hear your explanation. You could have it on the way home. But I don't want my aunt to go home. Can't you just stay over, please? Pretty please, my aunt. Come on, surely you're not so busy. Whatever work you have, you could just do it later. I'm sure you could do that. For me? Please? Why on? If you stay, then I'll make sure to stay too. I really want you to stay. You know I've missed you. And I've had a lot of work to do lately. But tomorrow I'll be free. And tonight it doesn't seem like I have anything important as well. So if you decide to stay, I'd be really happy. Thank you. I'm glad to know that. I'm glad too. And don't tell me that you just decided to stay only because of him. Because then, I'll be very jealous. I know you didn't. But he did help in persuading you. So, for that, I'm going to thank him. Thank you, Xiao. I don't need any thanks for this. I've simply said my honest opinion and what I wanted. Oh, you could be so formal sometimes. But anyway, I'm just glad that you're staying. 
But that means I'm going to have to check the fridge. I don't know if I'll have enough food for tomorrow. But either way, it should be easy enough to get. So worry not, Wyan. You know, Wyan, your hair smells really nice. Isn't that true, Shell? It is. I've noticed you've been using the same shampoo for a while. It's really... Well, I guess it's my favorite. Would you keep using that one? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be so specific. But it's a thing that I've come to notice. And I like it. A lot. Venti, what are you doing with your hair? Playing with it a little bit. I know you did a lot to take care of it, but maybe if I mess it up a little, it's not so bad, right? I like touching it. It's so pretty. Well, I guess I could be impressed by it. I mean, you take such good care of yourself all the time, Moyan. And I like how you smell too. Besides your hair, your perfume. I. I don't want to sound weird, but it's true. I don't know if it's weird if someone likes someone else's smell, but earlier when you asked for the jacket, wasn't it for the same reason? So it can't be weird, right? It's not weird. It's normal. I mean, I like wine smell too. And since you wanted the hoodie... Surely she likes ours. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I don't think it's weird to like your partner's smell. Maybe it's normal, too. Either way, I want one thing from you, Ayan. Would you please give me a kiss? It's been a while since you've given me one. I promise you, I'll be extra good tonight. And I'll even try to be nice. I doubt that's true. I'll have you know, Shao, that I'm very nice and kind. You just take things too seriously. And you take me specifically very seriously. And you know I'm not a serious person at all. Isn't that right, Lyon? Well, thank you for defending me. Or at least trying to. Now, my kiss, please. Oh, Wyan, could I, could I please have one too? And I'll give you one in return. I don't need to give you anything in return. Well, maybe I want to. I'm sorry if I'm not a good kisser. I'm not really, I don't want to disappoint you, Wyan. I know you're my first. And I hope that you know that. And remember it. Because I'm not very good at this. And many other things too. I get quite nervous. And maybe that's... That makes it even worse, right? I don't think so, Shao. I mean... Ryan doesn't think so too. And I think... Well... I think wine being your first love makes it even more beautiful. Right, Wyan? See? It's special. Because... Because you mean a lot to her. And the fact that she's your first love... Well, it means that... She's really special to you. And she'll get to be all your firsts. And that's really special to someone. I know. And I'm glad it's her. I want to be the best for you, Wyan. And that's why I'm going to work on myself and try to improve. I want the best for you. And that's why I think I have to be that for you too. You don't have to be so serious. Or at least not beat yourself up over it. You're doing quite well. And Wyan approves of what you're doing anyway. So you've got nothing to worry about. Anyway, why don't we just sit on the couch and cuddle? I'm getting quite tired. You haven't done anything at all, Vinci. Maybe that's true, but either way, 
I don't think cuddling is bad. Shall we do that, Wyan? All right. Hey, save some space for me too. Okay, I guess it's not so bad. It's nice to cuddle with you, Wyan. It's the nicest, Chow. Seriously, I know you don't do that a lot, but Wyan's cuddles are just the best. They're so warm and so comforting. What? I'm only saying the truth, Wyan. I mean, it's very true that you make me happy. And that I love cuddling with you. And maybe it makes me a little bit sleepy, but... I think that's fine. <sighs> well... It's nice. Today was a very good day. And I hope that tomorrow will be a good one, too. It will certainly be a good one if you wake me up with a kiss. Just like that one that you gave me a couple minutes ago. That's quite forward of you, Vincy, Isn't it? Maybe. But why in likes it anyway? What would you want, Chow? I... I just want Wyan to be there. And she's already staying with us. So I guess you could say that everything I want is something I already have at the moment. Oh, that's... that's really sweet of you. Am I the only sleepy one here? No, you're not. That's why I said we shouldn't cuddle. When we do that, I guess I get sleepy too. I don't usually get sleepy though. Maybe because... I'm feeling so peaceful. With you, Ion, things feel different to me. I'm not so worried about things anymore. And that weird feeling that I usually feel about those demons that I have to fight. Well, it's not here around you. And that's one of the reasons I like sleeping with you. It makes me sleep nicely. And I sleep more longer than usual. Shell, usually you only sleep for four hours or something. That's not very much. But I'm glad Lion helps. I mean, aren't you just an angel, Lion? Helping us with all of our problems. And they think that we need to do the same. At least try to make you happy. Isn't that right? Yes, that's right. And that's why you're going to rest now. Aren't you tired already? I mean, you ate. And we've been talking for a while now. I think maybe... Maybe the idea of cuddling wasn't so bad. And maybe we could rest a little bit. I don't usually like the idea of rest, but... You seem to need it. And I think now would be a good time to do that. We have all day today. And all day tomorrow, too. She's already starting to get drowsy, Shell. You don't need to give her reasons. I think she's quite convinced. Oh. I see. Well, sleep well, Wyan. You need it. He's right. Rest well, Wyan. And he'll take care of all the rest. Shell, would you take care of Wyan while I go shop for groceries? Sure, if that's what you want. That's exactly what I want. Now don't make noise. She's already asleep, I think. Good night, Wyan. Good night, Wyan. And bye, Venti. Be back soon. And don't slack off. I'll try not to. Just make sure you're taking good care of her. I already am. You know that. I know. Rest well, Shell. I will. You don't need to worry about me.